Thank you for the trade, mister. Mm, just get out of here. I don't think it's fair at all, but... Oh well. He's just mean. Like, really, really mean. Alright. Let's talk to the blacksmith's daughter, because... Maybe she can do something about her dad sitting just out in the woods doing nothing at all, really? The sign says Blackley's blacksmith. Bits, bobs are broken. We meet all your metal smithery needs. Uh... Hello? I hope you don't mind me asking. But is... Is your father the one who disappeared? You... You know where my papa is? I do! I found him! Oh. Where? Where is he? Please tell me. He's... Well... He's in the woods still. But he's okay, isn't he? He's not hurt, right? No, no, he's fine. He's perfectly okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's such a relief. Thank you. Uh, I'm Anna, and I'm glad I could help. You really did. I was sure he was lost for good this time. Silly, silly Papa. The name's Ashley, by the way. Pleased to meet ya. Ashley's amazing, but isn't he a master huntsman? How do does he get lost, then? Lost? But... He's a master huntsman. I thought he knew the woods like the back of his hand. He, uh, likes to stretch the truth just a little. Don't tell anyone this, especially not my papa, but he's not really a master hunter at all. It's that silly beast, the one that's been stealing all the food. He can't let it go. He won't. He promised everyone in the village he would help them. As long as that beast remains in the woods, so will papa. Alright, so can you tell me a bit more about this beast then? Like, I didn't... Did I know that something was stealing food? I can't recall. Can you tell me more about this beast? It's... Stealing food? Yep, the village is fruit. We're a fruitless village. That... Doesn't sound very beast-like at all. But it's eating all of it. The vendor who usually collects the fruit. He's terrified of it. A ferocious wild creature, he says. Gnashing teeth and long, razor-sharp claws. Oh my, that does sound rather beastly. Uh-huh, and that's what my poor papa is out there trying to find. Are we sure he's not talking about a squirrel or something? So, how does your father normally find his way out of the woods then? If he isn't really that big of a master hunter than we all thought. How does your father normally find his way out of the woods then? Usually I just get Gil from the tavern to help me find him. Then I just growl and make noises so he chases me and I lead him back here. But Ashley, he... he's hunting the beast. Oh, uh, hmm, well, good thing he's a terrible huntsman. Anyway, he caught on to me. He figured it out, so now I guess it's the beast or nothing. Oh well, so... oh, can she make the lantern? That would be awesome. I was wondering, this lantern... Is there any way you can make it work again? Ha! Oh, you kidding me? Piece of cake! Ah, only, without Papa here, I'm kinda crazy busy right now. No problem, so first get Father back, then get Lantern fixed. Um, I'll let you get back to work, as Ashley, and I'm going to get your father for you. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. Be careful out there, okay? If that beast is out there... Alright, let's go. See whether we can do anything. Is there nothing we can do with this haystack? Like, <laughs> if something was hard to find, Grandpa always said, "It's oh, like Anna, a needle in a haystack." Well try and find a needle in a haystack. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually? Oh, hold on. Well, there you go. Not so hard to find them after all, Grandpa. Not what I expected, but okay. So let's talk to the blacksmith again. See whether I can give some info about the beast. Excuse me, sir? Oh. Hello there. So... Can you tell a bit more about this beast? Can you tell me more about this beast? I don't know if I can, but... Maybe I can help somehow? Oh. That's very sweet of you, kid. But no. This is much too dangerous for you. But... But maybe if you just tell me... No means no, kid. <sighs> You're just like her, you know. You're just like my own girl. You kids are a stubborn lot. So, good luck doing whatever you're doing. Well, best let you get back to, uh, whatever it is you're doing. Oh, 
Yes, focusing my um, traditional tracking technique or something. Hmm. Is there any place? Where was the beast again? I think it might be. Hmm. What a creepy old thing. Out here in the dark? Yikes. So we are aware that they don't I like tell ghosts. You guys, the one about the witch boy who drowned in the lake? Hmm. Ah, it's only all you ever talk about. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> Scary. That's the point, you doofus. The silly ghost stories to scare you. Yes, I think they're afraid of ghosts, but I don't think I can do anything with the bed sheet yet. Can I? There was that old nope, school. Doesn't right here, work. Here somewhere. Hmm. A good idea, but I would also need thread to fix the sheet. So what if we do needle and stringy oh, vines? Yes. This would make for great oh, sewing thread. They're not hearing me, so that's great. All fixed. Those days of practicing my sewing really paid off. I'll just leave it as it is. He went in alive and happy boy, but then... Mm. He maybe out this isn't the right approach. Oh, maybe I have to get the lantern fixed and put it over the lantern or something Light like that. Is there... Because there is nothing here. Let's go to the lake. Is there like a bush here? No. Oh, there is a forest on the other side, of course, of the town where we first came in. Maybe the beast is over there. That might be... No, no. That was fun. Back to finding the cure, I guess. Not what I wanted to do, but thank you, Anna. There is a uh forest here. There's nothing back this way but a long walk home, and I'm not done here yet. Hmm. Oh, there are bushes over here. Evening once again, dear girl. And to what do I owe this pleasure? So... I have a feeling, Reynard, you might be the beast of the woods. This beast of the woods the villagers speak of. This fruit-stealing beast. Hmm? It's you, isn't it, Reynard? And what, pray tell, brings you to such a conclusion? Well, uh... You... Like fruit... And you are kind of like a beast. I mean, the descriptions are completely wrong, really. Hey! You haven't got any razor claws or teeth. And you're quite cute and small and fluffy. <laughs> Alright. Yes, yes, enough. It's true. I lack beastly qualities. But you are quite right. The beast is the title I have been given. And one I must abide by. No way. It was a very small and really cute fox that actually make these villagers do it in their pens. I mean, unbelievable. So, can you please... Can you please quit? Like, they're scared of you. And I need, like... I, I kind of need to back Lexmith back in his shop to get my lantern fixed and probably allows me to chase some thieves away. So you like being a beast, then? But they're scared of you, Reynard. Terrified. Precisely. Adapt to survive. And adapt I have. Once I thought to find assistance in picking fruit, cautiously leading villagers through the woods. But then they take all and share none. What option do I have but to adapt once again? But... They say that you've been taking all the fruit, Reynard. That's not fair. My dear, men have a predictable tendency to exaggerate. Oh... I see. I'm sorry for judging, Reynard. You really are a very clever little guy, you know that? You flatter, my dear. But you and I, we are not so very different in that regard. So, I think you know a way to help me. Like, you need to help me get the blacksmith back to his stall. Reynard, I think I know a way you can help me. You said before that you could lead villagers to the fruit, right? And the blacksmith, well... He needs to be led home, right? I'm not sure I'm particularly comfortable with the direction this is going. Oh, please, Reynard. That poor blacksmith. 
He's only trying to help the village. My dear, I appreciate your sentiments, but you're asking me to give up my orchestrated food supply. Well, you... you can come back to my farm. We have plenty of food to share there, but, well, you know, if you think there's someone else who's clever enough to escape one little huntsman, then... All right, all right, I concede you win. I care not for acquiescing on terms of pride, but I respect your tactics. Oh, thank you, Reynard. I really appreciate it. Uh, of course, my dear. And with that, I suppose I might as well be off. Well, let's go and see whether the blacksmith returned home. Yes, he did. Back to the anvil. Uh, hello? Anna, I'm glad to see you. He's back, Anna. My papa has finally returned safe and sound. <laughs> How about that? That's great news, Ashley. We're already right back on track with work, if there's anything you need. So, this lantern? I was wondering, this lantern, is there any way you can make it work again? Ha oh, are you kidding me? Piece of cake. One second. <laughs> done and done. Oh, wow, that really was quick. Thank you so much. So, I'll let you get back to work, but thank you very much, Ash Ashley. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. Alright, so let's see whether we can actually mm. scare the thieves it away. Like the I believe. Let's go to the mill. And let's go into the woods. And we now look at the station, because there seems to be something written on there. Wait, you don't think... This couldn't be the grove Theodore talked about, could it? If it is, if this is where Philip summoned the dragon, then there must be a clue. What have we here? How neat! It's like the patterns are burnt right into the wood there. This must be the shrine, it must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. And I think we have here whatever we need. Let me... I, I hope... Can I make a picture of my phone? I probably should, because otherwise I don't know whether this pattern is going to show up again, and that would be awful if it didn't. Alright, so I've got a picture of it, so we can actually use this in the future. At the... Um, it's not a piano. I'm the, I lost the word for it. Um, but that's okay. We're going to use it after this. Um... <laughs> that would make a nice ghost-looking thing, only the sheet is missing something. Oh, we probably should make just, like, pieces for the yeah, eye, the mouth, oh, and... Oh, and make a kind of fake ghost rain? costume thing. The themes were talking about ghost stories. That might not be a bad idea. Hmm. So... It's still missing something, though. There were some more details the thieves mentioned. I should go listen again. Um. Ah, yes. A ghost with glowing eyes, like in the Thieves' story. I didn't even notice that part, but... That's pretty convincing, really. Would sure scare me if I saw it floating around the woods. So, can I now uh, use my telekinesis on it? This isn't really needed here, I don't think. Time to finally give these guys a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> oh wow, Emma! Really? Did you just do that? Oh! You said? Oh, I said you did. You, you don't think? First, you lot of taking and salmon over a little kid, and now some wind? Useless. Really? The both of you. There's nothing here but, but, but. but. Ah! Uh, make sure it flies. What is it? I already thought I needed to be flying, so I'm surprised we didn't do that before. <laughs> Alright, so let's pick this up. 
Oh, let's get in the house. Let's see if we can find some more deserving tenants now. Um, let's talk with musicians, I think. Um, hey. Um, excuse me. Greetings again, Kamena. What is it you interrupt the great Van Betoriki with now? So, I found a place for you all to stay. Roostwick, I did it. I found a place for all of you to stay. By Jove, you don't mean it. I do mean it. Come on, I'll show you. So, what do you guys think? Hmm, quaint, quiet, tranquil even. It is no Schloss Sanssouci, but perhaps I shall lower my expectations in this instance. Yes. Perhaps. Very well. You have helped the great Rustvik van Vitoriki to retire in peace. For that, you have my sincerest gratitude. Thank you, my dear. You are most welcome, Rustwig. I'm glad I could help. Now, if you'll excuse me. Aren't happy endings so nice? Hmm. But can we see the inside of the house? Oh, it's you. Again? Sorry to bother you, Roostwig. I was just wondering, do you think you could help me with one last performance? The Vice of Fallen. Come enough. You must understand. Retired means retired. Finished. The end. I know, I understand. Really, I do. It's just, well, my grandpa is sick and... Please, please, spare me your tales of woe. I've heard it all. Mr. Roostwig, I did help you, remember? It would mean so much to me. <sighs> Very well. Here. I have no more use of it. If you so desperately need to hear the violin, well, I suggest you get practicing. Oh, well, I could give it a shot, I guess. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well... I guess that's something, right? Hmm. And now we just have to find a way to switch around this seemingly useless violin. Still a pretty one, probably. With the one that's inside the stall. Hmm. What exactly are you doing? I just thought... Maybe I could have a try? No. Just... no. That is the most exquisite violin in all the land. And as a result, the single most valuable, expensive and unaffordable item in this shop. So... that's a no to trying? Not even for a budding young musician like me? A very large and definite no. Especially to you. Hmm... Is there a way to cause a distraction? We can ring the bell, but that won't do anything. We can knock over some shelves if we can, because we're not that strong. The code won't do anything, I think. The whatever this is, the crockery won't do. Can we make the toy monkey make a lot of noise? Like, be really, really annoying. I think for that we might need some telekinesis. <laughs> Ooh. Good luck. Hold it. Hmm. Mm, just get out of here. Will do. Don't <laughs> worry. 